No, you start, you start. Yeah. Peace be to you. This is uh, Omar Abdul Malik, a physician assistant and health educator. I'm here with a special guest, a good friend of mine, who is a podiatric surgeon. Yes. You introduce yourself. Hello, everybody. My name is uh, Dr. Muhammad Ansari. I am currently a second year resident um, in the Harlem and South Bronx, and my specialty is uh, podiatric medicine. I am also known as a podiatrist. Um, but currently I'm receiving my surgical training of foot and ankle surgery um, in New York City, uh, up in the Upper East Side at Lincoln, Harlem, and uh, at Metropolitan Hospital currently. So. And what are some of the things that you have to do to prepare to uh, All right, so, a surgery? So uh, a few things that I had to do to, uh, to get where I am right currently is number one, I uh, had to obviously go to undergrad. So I had to do a pr it's pretty much the same thing as a pre-medicine medical track. Um, so I went to Howard University. I majored in clinical laboratory science and biology. And so, and also made sure I had to complete all the prerequisites uh, to apply for medical school. And that included biology, chemistry, uh, physics, organic chemistry. Um, I took pre-calculus and also English credits as well. And then after that, I had to take the MCAT, and you have to make sure you get an adequate score um, on the MCAT, and you can look that up. Every school has their own specific um, requirements as far as what they want specifically for the MCAT. Um, and then after that, I took the MCAT, and then I applied to uh, podiatry school, uh, podiatric medical school, and there are only nine podiatric medical schools um, in the U.S. currently. And they're all current. They're all are training us more to be more so foot surgeons. Um, and so, I went to school, did four years in New York, and our our curriculum pretty much mirrors the same as medical school. Just like the last two, the last year or two, uh, we just have very specialized training, uh, similar to dental to dental school. Um, but yeah. Right. And um, what would you say to anybody that was interested in becoming a podiatrist? Well, first of all, um, if, for anybody who's interested, I say go definitely go do your research um, and go figure out exactly what it is that we do. Um, and a few things that we do, uh, that or for me, um, well, a few things that we do is number one, we are we do a lot of diabetic uh, wound care. Um, we treat a lot of patients with diabetes and how, who end up developing peripheral neuropathy. Uh, we really try to make sure we're preserving their limb because patients who have diabetes. Um, they are oftentimes uh, at high risk due because they end up losing their sensation um, and a number of things that can occur that can uh, put them at risk for a different type of foot infections. And so patients with diabetes, I see a lot of uh, patients with diabetes. We see a lot of patients with just your typical foot pain, um, a lot of fractures, um, heel pain, um, and just, and, and so yeah. Um, and what, what interested you in podiatric surgery instead of just, you could say, like regular? Regular medical like, school. Yeah. Well, uh, for me, I, was, I also put, uh, applied to a medical school, and um, I got I did get receive my acceptance letters to put uh, podiatry school first, so I, I decided to move forward uh, with podiatry school. And what made me most interested in it is um, that the – Number one, the work-life balance. Um, I feel that at, we'll, we'll, I'm, I'm still capable of doing like important work, you know, helping um, individuals with diabetes and making sure we preserve their ability to walk. Um, and we, we're usually on the forefront of that. And so I felt that you know I could still be uh, a, a big assistance to my community, and um, and then also while having a good work-life balance and. Uh, you know, we're not going to be getting called 3 a.m. for somebody who has a, you know, a bad ulceration or we, that's not, you know, I, I could still have a family, uh, still make a good amount of money. And so it, it, it just had a good balance to it. And that's what that was something that um, that I, I felt pretty appealing about the, the profession. Um, also, you know, a lot of people don't like feet. A lot of people don't want to deal with feet and a lot of people just keep their socks and shoes on. But um, you know that presents many risks, and you know we're, I think that everyone has foot pain at sometimes, and you know I think it's it's a our profession with obesity and diabetes on the rise. You know we'll always be in, um, we'll always be 
we always have customers okay. in the patient. Okay. Yeah. And um, so it takes a four-year undergraduate degree? Mm -hmm. Four years of medical school, or four years of medical podiatry school. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the, right now, currently we have a three-year residency. Okay. And um, there, are many, there are many residency programs uh, all over the country. And uh, you receive a, a training in foot and ankle surgery. So we currently have to complete a certain amount of numbers of surgery on different parts of the foot. For example, I have to complete a, a certain amount of bunion surgeries. I have to complete a certain amount of um, fractures and traumas, um, and, and I have to complete, see. A, I have to see a certain amount of patients, um, in which I'm logging clinically um, in, in our in our clinic every day. And so, um, yeah. Okay. All right. That's Very pretty good. much it. All right. So it's a true labor of love. Yeah. So so uh, this brother is one of many other allied health professionals I've interviewed over the years. So if you have a, a interest in uh, becoming a podiatric surgeon, I will put the link in the description for the. Uh, is it the um, American College of Medicine? Well, it's it's a, a American College of uh, Podiatric Medicine. Okay. All right. Yeah. So I'll, I'll put that link in the description. Uh, of course, I'll also put the link in about uh, physician assistants for those of you all that want to become PAs like, like myself. I wish you guys the best of success in your positive endeavors. Uh, please subscribe if you feel like it, and uh, take care. Peace. Thank you very much. All right, peace. Thank you so much.